Hello, it's Miss Cheryl from Sacred Heart Montessori, and we are ready to do today's math activity. So we will use our abacus, and you will want place value cards for ones and tens. Now I have my super fancy ones. Are they fancy? No. I made them out of a cereal box. Back when the pandemic first started and we were suddenly at home. So if you have yours in your little box, that's great. But if you ever need to make your own, that's fine too. I have all the ones here and then all of the tens here. Now usually when we set them up, we put them all in order from one to nine. But this time, we don't want them in order. We're going to do two things. We're gonna mix them up and flip them upside down. I'll show you. All right, so you can see I have my tens and my ones all flipped upside down. And I have my abacus ready. We're using the side that has the circle on it and all the beads, we clear them to the right, same side as the circle. So, as usual, we'll start with an, one way to play, and then I'll show you a second way that you can play when you're ready for more challenge, if it gets too easy. So the first way is just to pick one card at a time. It could be a tens or a ones. I'm going to do this one. What does that say? Two ten. Do you know how to make 210 on your abacus? Two, 10. We did it. Okay, then we clear it. And we'll do another one. I'll pick a ones card. Five. So if I want to make five on the abacus, is that five rows like that? Is that five? No, that's five tens. We went just five ones. I know, it's all the blue beads. Okay, so I'm gonna start making a pile of the ones I've done. Next, we will look for another, find another tens. What's that? Six ten. Let's see if we can make six ten. So I'm looking for the color change because I know six is five and one. So six tens will be five ten and one more ten. We don't have to count it, we can subitize. Five ten and one ten is six ten. I'm gonna do another ten. What's this? Ooh, nine ten. That's fun. Have I ever showed you my favorite way to do 9-10? Since 9 is so close to 10-10 or 100, I'm going to do all the beads and put one back. That's my shortcut for doing 9-10s. Do you want to try it? You can try it. 9-10s. Alright, so I'll put all the 10s are done. Now we'll do another one. Three. Oops, I keep forgetting to clear it. All right, we can do three, not three tens, three ones. Is that three? Yes. All right, and then I would keep going until I flipped over all of my cards and made all of those quantities on my abacus. And then you can decide if you wanna mix them up and do it again, or if you're ready for something different. Now, if this felt really easy to you, then to make it more exciting, you can pick a tens card and a ones card. Let's try that. How many tens is that? Four tens and six ones. Can I make four ten six? This is more challenging. I'm gonna start with the tens. Four ten, let's see here. That's two ten. Four ten. Six. 
four ten six. Does that look right? Four tens, six ones. All right, and then we would clear it and make a new one, new quantity. One ten two. One ten two. Okay, so I'll do one ten two. That's it. Alright, and now it's your turn to try. So I hope you have fun with this game and you can let us know if you feel like this was pretty challenging or if it felt like you're really understanding these tens and ones and how to read the place value cards and make it on the abacus. Let us know how it goes. We're excited to hear.